All right, we're going to take a look at a couple of more problems with whole numbers, just as a reminder. So if I model this, and I say there are four groups, and each group has two, then my, my multiplication problem would look like four times two, four groups of two, okay? And all I did was take those uh, and put them together in one big group, and I have eight. Four times two is eight. Right now, do you see a decimal there? No, we don't need a decimal. We could put in decimals, and if we did, the decimals would go behind the whole numbers, right? And it would look like that. But when there's nothing else behind the whole number, we don't bother to put the decimal. We just know that it's there. Okay, what about this one? This is, you got to count them, one, two, three, four, five, six groups of two, six groups of two. So if you wrote that out, it would look like six times two. All right, and then I put all 12 of them together here and I circled 10 because if I have 10 whole, <clears throat> then I can regroup that into one 10 and two ones. So that's what the red circle means. I've just regrouped. This is now going to be represented by a 10. And then this is still my the ones that are left over. And if I was going to put decimals in, they would be behind. OK? All right, now let's start looking with decimals. OK? If you look at this one, this is two groups, right? This is the same as this. So it's two groups. And in each group, we have two whole, two tenths, and one hundredth. So here's my wholes, my tenths, and my hundredths. I have two whole, two tenths, and one hundredth. Okay, so it's two groups of two and twenty-one hundredths. So when I put those together, it's going to look like this. All right, and then I combine the pieces that are the same. So I have all my wholes together, all my tenths together, and all my hundredths together. And then I can just count them. So we have four in the ones place, four in the tenths place, and two in the hundredths place. And that's four and forty-two hundredths. Okay, now take a look. This one does have a decimal, right? In the problem, the problem has two digits behind the decimal. And in my answer, there are two digits behind my decimal, okay? That's important. Remember back here, there were no digits behind my decimal. There's nothing there and there's nothing here. Well, guess what? There's no digits behind my decimal in my answer either. What if there's one digit behind the decimal? Let's see what happens if there's one digit behind the decimal, okay? Here we have four equal groups, and each group has four tenths in it. So that would be four times four tenths. Then I take a look, and I have all my groups of four put together, and I end up with 16 tenths, right? Well, I know that 10 tenths can make a whole. So I circled the 10 tenths, and I pulled out a hole. So now I have one hole and six tenths left over. So then my answer becomes one and six tenths. Now take a look. Up here we have one place behind the decimal. And in our answer we have one place behind a decimal. We're starting to figure out how we put our decimals in our answers. Because remember we already said then you can just do the math like it's whole numbers. This would be four times four is 16, and then you just have to put your decimal somewhere. Well, we're figuring out how to do that now because however many are in our problem, that's how many have to be in our answer, okay? All right, let's look at one more. Okay, this has three equal groups and each group has five, so that, would be three times five, and they're the tiny ones, so that makes hundreds. 
So if you wrote that out in numbers, it would look like this. 3 times 5 hundredths. Okay, well we can just do the math. 3 times 5 is 15. So I have a line of 15 hundredths here. And I know a group of 10 hundredths. I can regroup and make 1 tenth. So here's my 10 hundredths I circled. I changed it into a tenth. And then I have 5 hundredths left. So now I have uh, 15 hundredths, okay? How many decimals in my problem? Two, two places behind the decimal point. How many in my answer? Two. That number has to be the same, okay? All right, let's let you give it a try.